Oh, I am just so thrilled with the, with the turnout and the attendance. Over 200 people showed up tonight to voice their opinions and to hear opinions about the proposed consolidation. My purpose in doing this was to give the public a chance to share their thoughts, and they did so, and they did so in some very uh, huge numbers. So I was glad to hear from them. I'm glad they took the time to come out. There were some points that were made that I certainly think have merit, and I will be very much looking toward incorporating some of the concerns that were raised here tonight when the House gets an opportunity to look at the legislation. One point in particular was this idea of representation. The rural communities feel very strongly that they are outnumbered in what is being proposed. I share that view. I am not interested in any proposed district lines that gives an undue weight to one particular part of the county as opposed to the others. Uh, because I represent rural Orangeburg County, I want to make sure that the rural parts of the county have equal representation on any board uh, that is made up. I think the jury is still out on this notion of taxes and how much taxes will increase. I am still not convinced that the information that has been distributed, that taxes will automatically go up 24 meals. I'm not sure that that is accurate. Um, the treasurer was here tonight. I really appreciate him taking the time out to come and share information with constituents. But I think we have to make sure that we are comparing apples to apples and not apples to oranges. And I don't think it is as simple as taking the three uh, tax meals and adding them up and dividing them by three. Because there are some other things that go into this equation that, quite frankly, I have not seen. But that is not my area of expertise, and what I plan to do is to have folk who do this kind of thing look at the numbers and tell me what they think the millage increase may be and what is included in that and all of it. The bill is on the Senate calendar. Uh, it was amended according uh, on May 22nd. It has not been sent over to the House. Uh, we will take the bill when it comes to the House. If it comes to the House, we will refer it to the House delegation, and it will remain in the House delegation until January 2015 when we go back in session. What I plan to do in the time off is to hold these uh, public meetings across my district, hear from the public about what they want to see uh, and what they don't want to see, and as much as possible arrive at a compromise that all of us, while we may not like, uh, will be fair to all that are involved. The bottom line for me is I am concerned about every child in Orangeburg County, not just the ones in District 3 four or five. I'm also not concerned with job protection, whether that be school administrators or school board uh, members. I think we must stay focused on what is important here, and what is important here from my perspective is ensuring that every child in Orangeburg County gets a quality education regardless of the community they live in.